Well, here it is, a review on my little boat. A lot of you have asked about this, and I've just been so busy fishing lately. I haven't had a chance to do a review on this boat. But what we have here is a 14-foot widgeon duck boat. These are built on Lake Miccosukee here in Florida, which is uh, just east of our capital, Tallahassee, by a guy named Cody Reese. And the name of his business is uh, Dead Ducks. So you can find him on Facebook, the internet, you name it, if you would like to get one of these boats built. But he's custom built them for a long time. And he started making them years ago specifically for these copperhead mud motors. And by that, I mean the seat spacing is set up perfect where you can hold this motor and drive comfortably. Uh, I put these seat spacers in just to space me up and get me even more comfortable there. But uh, it, it's just a sweet little package. It goes anywhere that you could ask it to go. Only needs a few inches of water. Yeah, I run a lot of lakes with hydrilla and thick lily pads, some shallow areas. Uh, it, I just couldn't be more pleased. It'll ask or anywhere anywhere you ask it to go it's going through it even these little rocky shoals that I run it does a great job of running over them you just uh, what you do is just manually twist this in and out and that raises the trim on the motor it's a very well balanced motor you can just grab a hold of it with your hand and lift it up out of the water and that's one thing about these little mud motors if you're not used to them this is direct drive so as soon as you crank it up it's driving there's no neutral no reverse it sounds aggravating, but you get used to it. If you want neutral or to stop, you literally just push the handle down. The prop comes out of the water. That's your neutral, or you can just cut it off. I always carry a little paddle with me. That's basically my reverse. And on a boat this small, it's no problem to coast into somewhere, get the paddle out, and spin it around. Let that be your reverse. But honestly, I can't say that I have missed neutral and reverse that much on a smaller boat just because of where this will get me. These are air-cooled engines, so no water pickups, nothing needed. That's why they can run in a few inches of water. They can run in mud. They can jump over logs and trees, whatever you ask them to do. I've had this for about three years. The prop has held up great. Motor has held up fantastic. Little single cylinders are kind of loud. You know, the same type of engine that you'll find on your... Uh, your little push mower so that'll give you an idea how loud they are it is extremely stable to be such a small boat the way the builder was explaining to me it's got this kind of reverse chine underneath i don't know how well you can see that but that grips the water very well it's not just a slick flat bottom boat like a uh, aluminum boat obviously being so light and small it does kind of move around the water but i have never once felt like this was going to tip over and actually my wife and i jump out of this boat all the time and climb back in it while swimming same thing with duck hunting and that's what this boat is specifically built for is duck hunting however you can see that i have rigged it for freshwater fishing i put a motor guide foot control motor on here and went ahead and did 55 pound thrust which is seems overkill for these small boats but you've been watching some of my videos and know that i'm in very swift rivers and i like to be able to uh, fish backup current so 55 pound thrust, uh, I don't feel like it's overpowered at all. It allows me to go up just about any kind of current I want, up, down, however I want to fish. The boat with this particular motor, and I know there may be some controversy here. The motor says 10 horse on it. This is what they call their WMA Marsh Monster Series. This is the 12 horse powerhead. However, most outboards are rated at the prop. This one, I believe, is somewhere around 9.8 horsepower at the prop. We have a few lakes up here in North Florida that is 10 horse or less rule for duck season. So this qualifies you just like, a, say, a 9.9 .9 outboard to go into those areas. This little outboard to push this boat, max about 21 to 22 miles an hour with just one person. And that's with the big deep cycle battery, troll motor, fishing gear, tackle box, cooler. That's, that's rigged out. I actually don't even have speed to unloaded because I don't ever run the boat unloaded. It, it's always rigged up for fishing or swimming. With a second person in here, my wife, we can typically get 18, 19. I think I've bumped 20 mile an hour before and that's wide open. And what I usually do is run about three quarter throttle, which is uh, a very comfortable speed. 
a little less vibration it just it just feels good and comfortable the engine sounds healthy that gets me going oh, i don't know it's probably 17 or so mile an hour with both of us in there which is plenty fast enough on these tiny rivers with all the sharp curves that we fish in so that'll give you an idea how this package set up uh how it runs there i pretty much added everything it come as just a basic hole i had to add the motor I had to go buy my trailer added me a little garmin gps depth finder again the troller motor a deep cycle battery i put the switches in i put a bilge pump in so i've got this rig just like a normal boat ready to fish ready to go i also added me some cheap led lights off of amazon that work very well i've got these on my truck tractor you name it and i've never had one go bad and i think they're 15 dollars and extremely bright spare tire you name it so that's how it's rigged i also put me some little rod holders in there little drink holders so hopefully this answers uh some of the questions y'all have been asking about this setup I, I know i've had a lot of requests and i've kind of been dragging around so i apologize for that but figured y'all would rather see fishing videos i'm probably gonna go ahead and include a few clips in this video that i'm gonna steal from some older videos that i made of this running i know some of y'all are new to the channel maybe haven't watched all my videos so i'll try to grab a few of those clips so you can see how it does through lily pads open water and by the way pretty important with uh these mud motors all those speeds that I just gave you, that's in deeper water. The shallower the water, the faster the boat runs, but I'm typically running rivers and a little bit deeper lakes, you know, things four or five, 10 foot deep, not the one foot or less that kind of gives you a little lift and speeds you up as well. So it may run even faster than what I just quoted you, depending on where you're gonna run it at. So if you have any other questions, feel free to drop me a comment. Like I said, I'm probably gonna include a few clips after this of it running but i'll answer anything that you have for it just bought a brand new gator tail boat so this little guy may be up for sale my wife and i are still talking about if we want to keep this or if we're going to sell it but uh you may see it up for sale before long since we already have a, a little bit larger mud boat now that i have rigged out for fishing with that said thank you all for watching hopefully this answered what you were looking for like share subscribe help the channel grow and I'll get some more fishing videos out to y'all coming up real soon. Thank you.